Think you know the woods? Think again. Forget ghost stories, there's something far stranger lurking in the shadows. Something big, hairy, and hungry, maybe. Call him Bigfoot, Sasquatch, whatever, but lately things have gotten downright creepy out there. Starting off, we have the Patterson Gimlin film, 1967. Okay, let's talk about the grainy, blurry video that launched a thousand bad documentaries and fuzzy slippers. I'm talking about the legendary Patterson Gimlin film shot in North Carolina, where the trees are tall and the fashion sense is, well, <laughs> questionable. Now this footage shows a hulking hairy figure strutting through the woods like it owns the place. Now the Patterson Gimlin film is Bigfoot's claim to fame. Sure, it looks kind of like your uncle in a gorilla suit after a few too many beers, but it's got everything Bigfoot enthusiasts crave. A dash of mystery, a whole lot of what the heck is that, and the enduring appeal of proving everyone wrong. Now let's get real. Skeptics have been picking apart this footage for decades. Bad costume, optical illusion, a hoax so cheesy it should come with crackers. Now they might be right, but hey, isn't it more fun to believe? Imagine stumbling across this dude on a hike, it'd be the best excuse to skip work ever. Sorry boss, a Bigfoot sighting you wouldn't understand. So was it Bigfoot, a brilliant prank, or just some rando wandering around in the woods after getting lost at a costume party? Who knows? Then we have the Bluff Creek photos, 1971. Okay, let's talk about the alleged Bigfoot family reunion photos that surfaced near Bluff Creek, California. We're talking blurry snapshots of some seriously beefy, hairy figures taking a casual riverside stroll. Picture chiseled physiques that would put Dwayne the Rock Johnson to shame, proportionally weird arms, and faces that only a mother or a diehard Bigfoot enthusiast could love. These snapshots are likely the holy grail for Bigfoot believers. Finally, proof that our favorite forest recluse isn't just one disgruntled hiker with a serious hygiene issue. But hold on, because the skeptics have been sharpening their knives and their Photoshop analysis skills. They cry hoax. They point out suspiciously human looking features. Then we have the Willow Creek incident, 1972. Okay, let's get down to the real hair raising stuff, pun intended. Now buckle up for the Willow Creek incident, a camping trip gone hilariously wrong, or maybe just a case of questionable decision making. The story involves a group of brave or maybe slightly foolish souls who ventured into the woods, only to be met with an experience that would make even the bravest boy scout soil their merit badge sash. Now according to their accounts, which let's be honest, might be a little embellished after a few nights of campfire stories and questionable snacks, these campers were bombarded with a symphony of weird noises that would make a death metal concert sound like elevator music. Think guttural howls, ear splitting shrieks, and the kind of rhythmic thumping that can only mean one thing. Bigfoot was either getting ready for a dance battle or practicing his audition for Stomp. Now we have the Scoopcom cast, 1982. Bigfoot's gotta leave footprints somewhere, right? Enter the Scoopcom cast, the Rosetta Stone of hairy feet, unearthed from the lush forests of Washington. This plaster cast, roughly the size of a dinner plate you wouldn't want to use, captured the imprint of a giant foot in the year 2000. We're talking 15 inches long and 8 inches wide. Now that's bigger than a clown shoe and way less stylish. Now this cast is like a Rorschach test for Bigfoot believers and skeptics. Believers see it as a holy grail of Bigfoot evidence, a footprint so detailed you can practically see the calluses from years of stomping around in the woods. Toe impressions, check. An art that is so impressive, absolutely. Suddenly, blurry videos and shaky eyewitnesses accounts seem downright sophisticated. But hold on to your hiking boots because the skeptics are here to rain on the Bigfoot parade. Now we have the Sierra Sounds. Forget bird watching in the Sierra Nevada mountains, it's all about Bigfoot howls. Think foghorns with bad coughs, opera singers with a serious case of bronchitis, and your neighbor's karaoke after one too many beers. These so called Sierra Sounds are enough to make your hair stand on end, which, if you believe the experts, might be Bigfoot's whole plan. Now, these recordings ain't your typical forest noises, oh no. We're talking guttural groans, screeches that would make a banshee blush, and a weird whopping sound that sounds suspiciously like someone trying to order takeout in a language nobody understands. Now, Bigfoot enthusiasts are convinced this is how these hairy dudes chat with each other. Imagine the conversations Dude, you will not believe where I stashed those hiking boots. Anyone seen a decent banana tree? Or maybe just a lot of primal screaming in the general direction of noisy humans. Now, of course, scientists have their theories too. Bears with sore throats, elaborate mating calls of an undiscovered bird, or maybe just some bored campers with a microphone and too much time on their hands. 
Woods. Honestly, any of these options seem more plausible than a giant hairy recluse with the talent for dramatic vocalizations, but hey, the Sierra sounds have been analyzed to death and the mystery remains. Is it Bigfoot or something way more mundane? Frankly, who cares? Half the fun is the explanation. I mean, imagine hiking through the woods, hearing a spooky howl, and knowing that somewhere out there, Bigfoot might just be clearing his throat for a late night concert or possibly complaining about the neighbors. Those sounds offer a weirdly hilarious dose of wonder and a reminder that the world might be a lot more ridiculous than we ever realized. Plus, they're the perfect excuse to start practicing your own Bigfoot impersonation, just try not to scare the dog. Then we have The Bigfoot Trap 2002. Okay, let's talk about the reality TV masterpiece that was Finding Bigfoot, aka the show where brave souls with fancy cameras desperately tried to prove that the blurry legend was in fact real. Now this wasn't your average ghost hunting show, this was a quest to find the king of forest hide and seek. Think thermal imaging cameras, high tech sound analysis, and a crew brave or foolish enough to spend nights in the wilderness hoping for a glimpse of everyone's favorite hairy recluse. Now did they find Bigfoot? Well, depends on what you count as proof. There were plenty of blurry photos, questionable noises, and dramatic reactions to every snap twig. Hey, who needs an actual creature when you've got suspense and a whole lot of guys whispering excitedly around a campfire? Now let's be real, finding Bigfoot was less about scientific breakthroughs and more about entertainment value. It was the perfect excuse to yell at the TV, he's right behind you, debate widely over evidence, and secretly wish that just maybe there really was a giant hairy dude stomping around those woods. But here's the thing, while the show may have been more fun than factual, it did shine light on the dedication of Bigfoot believers. They analyzed footprints, investigated potential habitats, and endured endless hours of mosquito bites, all for the chance to prove the world wrong. Now you gotta admire that kind of passion, even if it's directed towards a creature that probably doesn't exist. So did Finding Bigfoot give us definitive answers? Nope, but it did give us epic side quests, dramatic night vision footage, and the undying hope that somewhere out there in the vast wilderness, Bigfoot is still hanging out, blissfully unaware of his reality TV stardom, and probably rocking some seriously questionable footwear. And finally we have the Yakima Bigfoot. Get ready for another entry in the Bigfoot caught on camera, maybe Hall of Fame. This time we're heading into the Yakima Valley in Washington, where the scenery is lovely and the cryptids are apparently roaming free. This infamous footage shows a big ol' hairy something lumbering through a clearing like it just missed the bus to a place it has to be. Cue the internet detective zooming in on every pixel, debating if it's a legit Bigfoot strut or your neighbor after a rough night and a questionable haircut. The Yakima video is like catnip for Bigfoot believers. It's got all the good stuff. Decent quality, for Bigfoot footage anyway, a creature that looks like it could bench press a truck, and that iconic Bigfoot who, me, nonchalance. Of course, the skeptics are sharpening their pitchforks too. Is that a shadow, a cleverly disguised bear with an identity crisis, some guy who really needs to invest in a hairbrush, but here's the thing about Bigfoot videos. They're less definitive proof and more about keeping the dream alive. Remember that feeling you got as a kid thinking monsters might be real? The Yakima video brings back that wide-eyed wonder, even if it's mixed with a healthy dose of adult skepticism. Now let's be honest, the most compelling thing in the footage might be the scenery. I mean, who wouldn't want to disappear into those beautiful Washington forests if they had a truly disastrous fashion sense? Even if Bigfoot himself turns out to be a myth, the Yakima video is a reminder of the wilderness all around us, and whether it's a legendary creature, a clever prankster, or just the odd hiker who really takes the no shave thing seriously. Besides, wouldn't it be the most hilarious plot twist if Bigfoot wasn't a recluse, but just a dude who really enjoys solo nature walks? And we have the Oklahoma Bigfoot. Okay folks, gather around because it's time to talk serious nonsense. Deep in the wilds of Oklahoma, where the accents are thick and the trees are taller than your grandpa's tails, something weird is afoot. We're talking about a photo, blurry and pixelated enough to make a UFO sighting look HD, that allegedly shows a giant hairy dude hanging out in a forest clearing. Cue the Bigfoot rumors. Now this photo has sent the internet on fire. Think grainy snapshot meets Blair Witch Project vibes with a dash of is that a bear or my sleep deprived imagination thrown in for good measure. Now Bigfoot fans are stoked. Proof. Proof I tell ya. While skeptics are sharpening their photoshop analysis skills ready to debunk this thing faster than you can say Sasquatch selfie fail. Now let's get real, Oklahoma's got its share of wilderness. Could a giant recluse ape man be hiding out there living his best life off the grid? Stranger things have happened. Now maybe Oklahoma Bigfoot is just really camera shy, or maybe he's out there perfecting his lumberjack chic look and avoiding hikers with bad fashion senses. But here's the fun part, even if this photo turns out to be a hoax, or a lost hiker with a serious need for a hair 
haircut, it doesn't matter. The legend of Bigfoot lives on. It's about the mystery, the thrill of the chase, and the pure, unadulterated joy of believing in the unbelievable. Besides, even if Bigfoot doesn't exist, the guy in that photo definitely owes us an explanation for that wild outfit. Was there a sale on furry costumes that we didn't hear about? <laughs> Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video about the legendary Bigfoot, then you have to check out this video next. It's about people who are claiming to be extraterrestrials. Now do we take their word for it, or question them even more? Find out more by clicking the video now. What are you waiting for?